Yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Fuji. I'm just coming out here with a video of uh, the best settings to use and how to boost your FPS on Escape from Tarkov. A couple days ago, BSG introduced a patch to the game to take away fog indoors with an interchange of reserve, as well as updates to DLSS and other things that'll impact performance. So I'm just going to show you guys the best settings to use right now to boost your FPS, as well as uh, a program to use, which will also increase performance on Escape from Tarkov. One thing to do periodically whenever going on Escape from Tarkov is to go on your settings here underneath your name within the launcher and clearing your cache. This will allow your Escape from Tarkov to perform better as there are going to be a lot of stuff here that have been built up from the day you downloaded Tarkov. And if you've never done this, you can only imagine how big that file is. So make sure you clear your cache, I'd say weekly, and you'll see a dramatic performance boost while doing this. All right, moving on to the settings within game i have all my stuff here always shown and whatnot you can choose to copy that or not it's all up to personal preference within the game it's all your hud and stuff but anyway uh, moving on to automatic ram cleaner and only use physical cores i have these activated and i'll show you the program that i'm using that allows these settings to actually work because without the program that i use these settings actually do not work correctly only using physical core setting does not work correctly unless you're using a program called Process Lasso, which I'll show you how to use. Okay, so this is Process Lasso and I'm gonna show you how to use it. This can help you with a numerous amount of things regardless of just Escape from Tarkov or managing your performance with other programs on your computer. This program will be able to set your CPU priority on multiple programs to be able to get you the maximum amount of performance that you're looking for. So in the context of Escape from Tarkov, you're gonna to wanna to go onto your active processes and look for escape from Tarkov.exe. You're gonna to wanna to right click on it, go to CPU priority, go to always and make sure your priority is on high i find that putting it on real time highest may obstruct other programs that you're using in the background like discord or maybe spotify or google chrome if you're watching something on another monitor or something so i make sure i just put it on high so it doesn't affect other programs the next thing we need to do is go to cpu affinity go to always make sure you disable hyper threading and this is what's going to enable only use physical cores within the game and that's what makes that setting useful because if not, the setting is practically useless and does not work unless you do this trick. So that's just about it with Process Lasso. Once you're done with that, you can just close out the program and it'll just stay open in the background. And one thing I will say, whenever you turn on your computer, there will be a little warm up message saying, thank you for using Process Lasso and whatnot every time you get on your computer. But it's something you're just gonna have to deal with unless you upgrade to the Process Lasso Pro, which you do not need to do to be able to do the trick that I am showing you. As you can see on the bottom, Process Lasso Free V12. So you don't need to pay for Process Lasso Pro, so that's not a worry. Moving on to the graphics. Uh, it, screen resolution for you guys may be different. I'm playing on a 1440p monitor. You guys may be playing on a 1080p, but nonetheless, you can adjust accordingly. My settings will be a base, as you guys can adjust the way you want. But most of these things, having off, as you see already, will probably be beneficial in the end anyway. For the screen mode, I have it on borderless just for personal preference, but most people recommend full screen to get the best optimization with frames and all the delay and desync. But in the end, use whatever you want. I like borderless just because I can alt tab in and out of the game without having to actually have the game off my screen. Moving on to texture quality, I run medium because I'm on 1440p and I do not have DLSS on right now. The reason is, is DLSS has been known for causing extra ghosting within player models and whatnot, and it just does not look right. Although you may have more FPS, it just does not look right. The new update may have impacted this and made it much better, which it should because they updated it, but you never know. I can guarantee you DLSS will give you higher frames if you're running 1440p. It's all dependent on if you want to deal with the ghosting or not. Personally, I would keep NVIDIA DLSS off until we know further that DLSS won't cause as much ghosting and is much more improved than what it is now. As more and more people test out the new DLSS update, we'll get better information on if it's even useful right now. But for right now, I'd keep it off. Anyway, back to where I was. Texture quality, keep that at medium. Shadows quality low. You wanna put your LOD quality to two, your overall visibility to 1500 while keeping your anti-aliasing to TAA high. A guarantee for most of your guys' setups, you're gonna want resampling off, DLSS off, 
AMD FSR, I can't really speak about since I have an NVIDIA graphics card, but if AMD FSR 1.0 or 2.2 is useful for you, uh, go ahead and use it, but I have those off. You want to keep your HBAO off as well as your SSR as they take massive hits on your frames per seconds, as I've noticed. Next, take your anatrophic filtering to per texture and NVIDIA Reflex low latency on and boost for people that have NVIDIA graphics cards. Make sure you have your sharpness down to zero as you're going to be doing something within your control panel to adjust sharpness as well as saturation and other things within your computer. And all these bottom settings down here, make sure they're unchecked as they take away your frames and really are extras. Moving on to post effects, I have it disabled since post effects has been known to decrease FPS as well as cause a little bit of stuttering. So I have it disabled. And we're moving on to the control panel. This will do the exact same thing as post FX while not taking away any performance on Escape from Tarkov. So you can get the maximum amount of FPS while still getting the saturation you want and the colors you want for the game. So it doesn't look so stale. The one thing I do use post FX for is for nighttime raids and using these settings right here will have your screen looking black and white when using NVGs during nighttime raids instead of green. Personally, I think it helps you see better during the night giving you that clarity that you look for when rocking a nighttime raid and not all confused when stuff starts coming at you and you don't have any clue what you're looking at and you lose a pair of NVGs that are pretty expensive. Moving on to the NVIDIA control panel or whatever it is for AMD, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna go on here and this is where you're gonna be able to make your own kind of post FX settings within your computer. So you're gonna wanna go on adjust desktop color settings and make sure you're on all channels and select whichever monitor you have here. If you don't have a dual monitor set up like me, then it won't matter. Just make sure it's selected here. And go down until you apply color enhancements and make sure all channels is selected. And from there, you can adjust your digital vibrance hue as well as your contrast, your gamma, all from here. And just pick and choose what you want, how you want it. I personally have 50% brightness, 50% contrast, as well as gamma at just one. And digital vibrance is where you'll get all that saturation from within the game and make your grass look green and your sky look extra sky blue, you know what I mean? So pick and choose on how you want to do it. It's all perfect personal preference from here. But this is how you get to the screen and how you are able to do it. That's all I have for today's video on how to boost your FPS as well as maximizing your performance on Escape from Tarkov. If you find any of this stuff helpful, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Once again, I just want to remind you that I have the Process Lasso link to be able to download within my description, so be sure to check that out if you really want to use Process Lasso. I really do recommend it. It'll give you a huge performance boost compared to when you wouldn't have it on, as well as the benefit of allowing that only use physical core settings to work correctly. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Anyway, take care and peace.